Hi everybody, welcome to Trish's, Crea Trish's Creative Treasures. Hi, I'm Trish. How are y'all doing today? It is day four of Vlogmas. Yeah, day four, December 12th. December, where am I getting December 12th? December 4th. <sighs> yeah, it's been one of those days. Um, My day's not really been overly productive. I uh, worked till 3 o'clock this afternoon and then I feel like I got a fuzzy in my eye or something. I see. Went to the grocery store and got some stuff and came home and made dinner and we ate dinner and uh, hung out with Drake for a little bit. Got him to bed. And now I'm sitting in my bed watching Fear the Walking Dead. Now that I got Hulu and I saw that's on there, I'm like, woohoo, yes, I'm going to watch that. But, uh, I've just been sitting here crocheting. been working with the, uh, Premium Allure. So, I started for my mom's Christmas gift for my mom. Let me see if I can get it on here. Making her, like, a large cow that she can wrap over her head and still have something around her neck if she wants, but see, I'm doing uh, double V stitches, two rows of that, and then on the second row, I bring it down both rows, clamp it together, do another two rows, same thing, bring it down to the first one. So I don't know if you can see that. Kind of gives it a little bit of a butterfly effect right there between the V stitches. But, yeah, this nice yarn is very nice and soft to work with. So, and her winter coat's blue, so this is the icy blue color. So, hopefully she'll like this. But usually, my mom's not picky. She loves anything I make. She is my most gift, you know, gift-worthy person of my homemade goods. She wears the stuff I make. She likes the stuff that I make. So, there's one person I'm going to make gifts for. It's my mother. Sorry if you hear the TV. I turned it down. So, let me see if I turn it down a little bit more. We use uh, PlayStation 4 for uh, our internet streaming for TV. So, the controller is charging and having a hard time walking today my back's out so thankfully I see the chiropractor tomorrow so hopefully at least I'll be feeling better with my back I cannot wait to see the chiropractor tomorrow that's how bad my back is killing me but uh I was gonna come home make dinner and then hop on the sewing machine to sew up some bags <sighs> but unfortunately I was not gonna tolerate sitting in the chair with my leg up and down on the pedal and everything so I opted to sit in bed where it's kind of warm and comfy. So, that's where I'm at today. Other than that, I didn't do nothing. Haven't done anything. That's been, it's been my day. I see. Tomorrow, get up, get dragging off to school, get ready for work, go to the chiropractor, and then I got a whole day of work because... Yesterday when we had our, um, we had a morning, early morning at work yesterday to do kind of like the transfer or transitioning in with the new company and, you know, somebody came and gave us a blah, blah, blah spiel. Um, the one girl that's been troublemaker, she came in and quit. So now we're scrambling for hours because we're down a person and our other person that could help is, um part-time so she's part-time because she can't work too many hours right now so yeah there are four of us to work full-time hours for a day where we need at least six people to make the day go so everybody can have days off so it's gonna be a little bit crazy till we get another employee and it's so hard to get girls to want to do this job anymore I mean Back when I was younger, back in the day, I mean, hairdressers were all over. A lot of the girls go to school, 
they'll go get their boards done and, you know, pass their boards so they can get uh, state certified. But they get in a shop and realize it's not easy. You have to actually bust your butt to make a paycheck being a hairdresser, especially when you work on commission. And when you're first starting out, no one's going to trust you. No one wants you to do their hair until they see what you've done for a little bit. And then they're going to trust you a little bit. They give you a try. So, things are going to be hectic. Oh, well. We need the money. Although, I'm, I'm amazed. Like, usually at this time of year, we are slammed with clients. And we're slow right now. I mean, the past week or two... I have been busy, not as busy as what I would normally be, but since I now have all this crap wrong with me, I'm moving at a lot slower pace than what I used to, so it keeps me, you know, from the time I get in to the time I go, I'm busy, but, uh, yeah, I was gonna go do a little bit of shopping today, but I didn't, luckily I didn't because I need the money to pay for my chiro chiropractor appointment. If I would have went and did a little shopping today, I would have been like, oops, because I mailed out a bunch of packages today, and they cost me a little bit of money to pass, to get them shipped out to some of you, my yardy people. Um, just a little something to say, thanks for being there. But, uh, other than that, I don't really have anything else to show you. I'm not working on it. Well, you know, I've been working on that little, little girl, Mermaid Tail. Tonight, I had to take a break at Mermaid Tail. Mermaid Tails are driving me nuts. Because it's been nonstop. I have to keep, me, I'm one of the people I have to switch up because I get bored after a while with the same thing. That's why I have 50 million stinking whips and nothing finished. I have zilch finished. Well, I I got the big mermaid tail done, which did take quite some time. But uh, other than that, I don't have nothing crocheted finished. My priority is getting the mermaid tails done. So I don't think this will take me too long to make this um, cow for my mom for Christmas. Then I want to make her some um and. Uh, Placemats for her table. She'll like that. I made her a huge doily the other year for her coffee table, so she enjoyed the doily. So I'm going to do some cute little uh, placemats so that way she can have them on her table and make it look nice. But other than that, I don't have nothing interesting to say. Nothing interesting going on. It's the same old, same old. So hopefully maybe tomorrow, or it's going to have to wait till the weekend, because I close every night this week. So I'm hoping this weekend I'll be able to get some bags sewn. My first one came out pretty good. I was happy with that. I'll have to, I'll have to show that to you maybe one night this week. I don't think uh, I've shown that here on YouTube. I know on um, Facebook I've shown it. So yeah, I'll have to show you guys. But I think that's all I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to wrap it up, make it a little bit on the short side. Because I don't got nothing interesting to talk about tonight. Alright guys, I love you. I hope you all have a great night. Until tomorrow, bye.